This is my Allen digital multimeter and this is my DIY multimeter which I designed here at the lab using this kit electronics component coupled with ESP32 chip. In this video, I'm going to show you how these two multimeters compare to each other, most especially with the wireless communication the two multimeter houses. Let's get into it. I started off this build by first designing the schematic diagram on Proto Simulation software. Having all the components assembled, I soldered them in place as I have them looking just like this. Next, with all the standard components drilled and placed in position, I wire them up in this form. Having everything in place, I reviewed the code for this project just as I have it uploaded to the ESP32 board. Finally, I coupled the board back to the casing carefully as I sealed everything in place using the screw nut. So powering up the device, the system boots and then we wait it to um, connect the network just as we have. Alright, it's connected to network and you can see the same interface we have on the, multi um, on the uh, uh, application is the same with what we have on the screen. And once I toggle the push button to switch the mode, that simply means I'm about to measure the voltmeter. It comes also with a continuity test for this and the same interface is shown on the port end. Then same goes with for the battery. So the internal battery of this particular device, this shows you the voltage and also the battery percentage which you can lock over time just as we have the system powered on time. Then lastly, we have the system monitor the temperature in this particular environment. Now let's compare it to what we have for this particular device. So the temperature in the room, which is the sun, this is 32 degrees, this is 31, just one percent offset from this particular multimeter and then this one. I can actually increase the um, time stop from what we have here. Then let's test the voltage measurements. Alright, so to test the particular uh, voltmeter we have here, the system is an auto mode just to detect which power source we have. So this is the blue uh, button to toggle between different probe lines. So I'm going to do this. I connect the black line with the black terminal of the multimeter and the red line with the red line. Uh, the system automatically detects the DC component and then interface the reading in time. So we have 9.5. 9.4 which is like 0.1 offset and what I'm going to do next is to compare this to the relative with what we have here so while I probe this is what we have 9.52 9.43 9 9.5 which is still the same thing in terms of the accuracy of this system so this gives us like 0.1 offset which is still fine for a multimeter design using this great electronics component same is applicable to the web interface what we have on the screen is in alignment to what we have here this is the battery, internal battery, and this is the graph over time as we can log the reading in time at all aspects of it. And then having done that, let's move to measuring the AC system. And to measure the AC system, I disconnect the whole line. And while I disconnect the whole line, I use this to toggle between AC mode. And doing that, I'm going to use this particular cable, this particular cable to connect my line. So to clear up the table, let me just clear up what I have here. So this is for this and this is for this. So this is the wire port for a multimeter. So the black line I will connect first. And here is the black line, which serves as, as a neutral for the AC line. And then I connect this to so this is source. Alright, so the system is up and then the system will be in real time. Note we are running on a generator and hence the reason for fluctuation the power is not kind of steady because we are running on a generator and major. So this is the reading AC with the 2 uh, 11.26 and the reading still update in time. You can see this. So you see that it tracks when you go through the map you um, the data logged over time you see then we are actually reading around 3.4 and um, around the DC component then we now have the value of the went over 200 because of the reading we are getting relative to this and same is applicable to what we have over here just as we toggle between different sources this is how this project is designed and everything is just working out perfectly just as we design just as we have the system working out from our uh, what we have here in the lab my name is Marcus and I'm reporting to you things that work from the lab thank you so much